Spade, did you know that radon exposure is the leading cause of lung cancer in non-smokers? But what the heck is radon? You didn't ask. Or did ask. Or just don't care. Like my co-host Spade. Well, I'm going to force feed you fun facts anyways. Radon is a naturally occurring radioactive gas that is colorless, odorless, and tasteless. Radon comes from the decay of uranium and thorium, and it can be found nearly everywhere on Earth in the bedrock, soil, and groundwater. Radon isn't much of a concern outdoors because it can't build up in high enough concentrations once it hits the air. Radon exposure primarily occurs indoors, where radon can build up in homes and buildings. Radon can seep through cracks and fissures in the foundation and flooring of homes. It can also be found in groundwater and enter the home through sinks and showers. Huh? Isn't that crazy? Prolonged exposure by inhalation to high enough concentrations of radon increases a person's risk of developing lung cancer. According to the United States Environmental Protection Agency, the average concentration of radon in most U.S. homes is 1.3 picocuries per liter. The risk of a non-smoker developing lung cancer from being exposed to 1.3 picocuries per liter of radon is about 2 in every 1,000 people. A smoker who is exposed to that same concentration is 10 times more likely to develop lung cancer than a non-smoker, meaning 20 out of every 1,000 smokers could develop lung cancer. The EPA recommends radon mitigation when the concentration of radon reaches 4 picocuries per liter in a building. When the exposure to radon increases from 1.3 to 4 picocuries per liter, the risk of a non-smoker developing cancer increases from 2 to 7 people per 1,000 non-smokers. If you take that same dose increase from 1.3 to 4 picocuries per liter for a smoker, their risk increases from 20 to 62 in every 1,000 smokers developing lung cancer. Dude, are you sleeping again? <sighs> Most of us already know that smoking is the leading cause of lung cancer. A smoker is 15 to 30 times more likely to develop lung cancer than a non-smoker, depending on how much and how long they smoke for. The risk of a smoker developing lung cancer is already high, which means that exposure to radon only increases that risk significantly. How do you know if your home has high concentrations of radon? You can purchase at-home DIY test kits, or you can hire a qualified radon specialist to come and measure concentrations at your home. At-home test kits usually cost between $15 and $30. They come with directions, which usually include leaving the kit in the lowest portion of your home for several days or weeks. You then ship it to the directed laboratory, and the results will be sent back to you. If concentrations come back and they're higher than 4 picocuries per liter, a radon mitigation system is often recommended. Radon remediation costs can vary, but they typically average around $1,000. If you are looking to buy or rent a home, I recommend measuring radon concentrations for peace of mind. You can also look into your state's radon programs, which can sometimes include free or low-cost testing kits, as well as radon mitigation assistance. What do you think, Spade? He has no comment.